Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel today. So, today is going to be an August favorite video. I haven't done one in... Well, I, didn't, I don't think I did one last month. But, let's go ahead and get on with my favorites. Okay, so first let's start off with my favorite lashes of this month. I have been obsessing and obsessing and obsessing over these Coco lashes right here. Okay, and this one is not like one of the name ones, but it's one of their lashes by the brand, and it's in number 201. This is what they look like. They are so pretty, and they're so wispy, and they give you so much volume, and that's what I really love about it. And then this is the Coco Lash in the style Misha. And it is what I'm currently wearing on my eyes right now. And I just love it. It gives me like the most perfect, most natural, well I wouldn't say natural, but the most perfect kind of lash look I want. And I'm late, but um, another one that I have been loving is the Vegas Snay Lashes in the style Shining Star. I picked it up just a couple of weeks ago, maybe like almost two weeks ago and I really really love it it was a lot more dramatic than I thought it was going to be but um, the band is a little bit too heavy with me because with the cocoa lashes the bands are like super super thin and it doesn't like make my eyes weigh down or make them feel like they're weighing me down but other than that I really 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 love these and I've been trying to find the grand glamour ones but they're always sold out at my Target and it just super sucks. <laughs> okay, so also late again. Um, my mom gave this to me actually. It's the Anastasia Contour Kit and it just looks like this. I've been using it a lot actually, actually every day I think. Um, the main ones that I use out of it is the banana powder right here and I use it to um, set the concealer underneath my eyes and then I'll go in with, what is this, Fawn? Uh, I don't know, but <laughs> I go in with this color right here. It's more cool toned. And I go ahead and use it to carve out my, um, the hollows of my cheeks. And then I go in with this one right here just to really warm up my face and not make it look so deathly and sick. And then I also use this to um, contour my nose as well. So I've been really loving that. I have tried the highlighter before and it's not as great as I thought it would be, but overall, since I use this palette every single day since my mom gave it to me, I can say that I actually really love it, <laughs> despite how small it is. So another palette that I've been loving is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, or the Eye Contour Palette. It looks like this. Super, super gorgeous. I love how it has like the names written on the back. Though I do say the names are really, really hard to say. Um, I've been using this palette quite a lot lately this past month. Um, I did, well, didn't do, but I've been using mainly all these colors to create a matte eye look and hopefully I will be doing a video over this. And oh yeah, you guys, I totally forgot to tell you, but yes, I did do my hair. Um, I did it by myself just because I don't feel like it's worth it doing, or not doing, paying like over a hundred dollars to get my hair done. So I did lighten up my hair by myself and I have a tangle right now. And I think it came out pretty good, you know. It's not as light as I want it to be, but I'm gonna slowly make my way, my way there. Um, hopefully sometime next month I will be able to show you guys what I did with my hair. But moving on. <laughs> okay, so recently I got this Holy Grail palette of mine. It's so, so pretty. And usually I'm not, if you guys know me, then I'm not the one that's like all about eye color and like super bright colors and stuff. But I have been loving this palette since I got it. It is the Morphe 35P palette right here. And it's so, so gorgeous. Like, I can't get over these colors. 
There's so many deep purples and mauvey, dusty rose colors in it. I'm so in love with this palette. Like, you can't say anything. I can't say anything bad about this palette at all whatsoever. You go ahead and swatch some of these for you guys. Blendable and so pigmented. It, I love the colors. They are absolutely beautiful. There's nothing bad I can say about it. I love how um, they're all pigmented. You get transition colors. You get darker colors. You have matte. You have glitter. Basically everything you could think of in one palette. And I'm super excited because I'm waiting for the 35O and the 35T to come back into stock before I purchase more Morphe palettes. So this, again, is the Morphe 35P palette. And you can see all my lovely, lovely um, fingerprints all over it. So these are just some of the colors that I've swatched, showing you guys again. Super pigmented, super blendable, absolutely, oh, right your breath, absolutely easy to blend out. So some more products I've been loving this month is, okay, so far, like, I used, you guys know that um, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer was like my holy grail, but I think I moved on to a better one, <laughs> and it is the Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer. It looks like this, and oh my goodness, like these are both Maybelline, but I feel like Maybelline did a very, very good job with this one. They, some people say that it's like a dupe for the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and I kind of agree. It gives me super, super great coverage, and the way it blends is exactly like the MAC Concealer, which I love about it. And it's cheap. It's drugstore. I love it. I don't want to go out and buy the MAC one because it's like, what, $19.20 for a bottle? I, whew, that's a little bit too much for me. <laughs> But overall, I really love this concealer. I find that it doesn't, um, I feel like with the Maybelline Fit Me one, it kind of wears off during the day. Like, you know, whenever you rub your eyes, it just kind of really emphasizes later on on your dark circles. But with this one, I feel like it really, really stays. And it's nice and pigmented, super, super blendable and easy to use. Um, another one I've been loving is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. And it's just like this. I've been loving it. It's super nice, easy underneath the eyes. It's not really heavy, um, but it's not as light as the Maybelline one. And yet again, another concealer is the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. It's just like this. I really like this one. Um, the results were really surprising. Because I've heard like quite a lot of good things about it, but I just never really gave it a shot before. So whenever I actually tried it on, I was really surprised. Like, it was super blendable. It was pigmented. It covered up my dark circles. I'd say these are like head to head next to each other, except for this one is still more easy to blend. Um, but I forgot to tell you guys the colors I have. Um, this one is in neutral medium. I don't know if you guys can see that. The Id Cosmetics is in neutral medium. The Maybelline Master Conceal is in light medium or number 30. And then the NYX Concealer is in... What is it in? Oh, it's in beige or CW04. So those are the concealer products that I've been loving this month and I cannot wait to find some more. <laughs> the eyebrow product this month, uh, since I lightened up my hair, I feel like my Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade is a bit too dark for my hair. So I've been using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Espresso and I absolutely love it. It looks like this. And all I can say is, wow, it really makes my eyebrows look um, more natural. 
instead of the Anastasia Beverly Hills because whenever I compared both of them together my Anastasia looked really drawn in and fake but with the micro pencil I just loved it and make my eyebrows look so much more natural the color matched my hair better and I love that um, it comes with this spoolie at the other end and I've had it for a while now it's lasted um, pretty good actually which I'm pretty surprised I was expecting to run out by now but it hasn't and this spoolie is amazing like for with me my Anastasia Beverly Hills spoolie is like about to like wiggle off so I'm I'm really liking the NYX micro pencil in the color espresso it's what I'm wearing on my eyebrows right now as opposed to my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills lastly um, it's gonna be my favorite lip products of this month and my first one is the NYX Lip Smacking Fun Color in the color Perfect. And that's what it looks like. Is it upside down? No, it's not. Okay. Just looks like this. I've been absolutely loving this lipstick right here. Like, I, um, I'll put it on and then I'll mattify it with ELF's HD powder. And it just gives me the most perfect stone looking colored lip <laughs> like I don't know if that made sense but hopefully it does um but honestly like let me just go ahead and put this and it's so creamy it's absolutely perfect for everyday wear it's so creamy <sighs> I'm a sucker for colors like this like honestly the next one is another Lip Smacking Fun Color Lipstick by NYX in the color Thalia. And yet again, it's another similar color. And again, it is super creamy, super blendable, everything like that. And this is Thalia. This is perfect, and this is Thalia right next to each other. Beautiful, beautiful colors. I love mattifying both of them. And it's just like, I'm attracted to these colors. I can't help it. <laughs> Second to last favorite look product of this month is the Wet n Wild Fergie Lipstick in the color Bebop Love. It's another, yet again, close shade to the other two. But I feel like this one can go more natural and pretty much match with anything. So this is Bebop Love right here. This is Talia. And this is Perfect. And then my last lip product of this month is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the color Trap. And it's currently what I'm wearing right now. Go ahead. It's going to take a while for it to dry. But I'm really loving the color. It looks more purple in, um, in the camera because of my lighting. I mean, it does have a purple tint to it, but it's more like a gray purple, I'd like to say. But it's so, so gorgeous. It's definitely not long-lasting like the LA Splash ones, but literally the color payoff is so gorgeous, and it comes in so many shades, and I have more that I'm not going to mention this month. But this is the one that I have been wearing the most this month and recently than the others. And, um, also I have the Morphe palette that I mentioned earlier on my eyes as well, along with one Makeup Geek shadow. This is what I have on my eyes right now. Um, today's makeup only consisted of two shadows, which is one from Morphe and one from Makeup Geek. But this is what, um, Trap looks like. Right here. And you guys, I'm so in love with this, like, I can't even say how much I am. Like, I have loved all these products so much and I use them like every single day. Like, ever since I got a Morphe palette, I use it every single day. If I'm not using the whole palette, I'm at least using one color from it. And I'm like literally so obsessed with all these products right now. It's crazy. Um, oh gosh, this is great. I just want to play with my makeup now, but... The reason why I haven't been uploading as much is, you know, I feel like as an individual and someone who's somewhat of a public figure, that sometimes you just need a break from it all you know like you get so much negativity from people people that you know 
not necessarily as in family, but then like people that you know who are, you know, um, directly or trying to indirectly bash on you. And I was pretty much sick of it, so I decided that I would take a break from filming for a while. But I'm back again and I absolutely missed it so much. Um, you know, people will always try to put you down. That's what my mom always told me. They're always going to try to put you down. So, you know, you need to be above them. You know, it doesn't matter if you know them or not. You need to be the bigger person and just not care. Because in the end, you know, what you do for yourself is what's going to make you happy. Not complaining to back to someone else or trying to defend yourself. As long as I know who I am, I'm okay, you know? I think that's the main reason why I haven't been filming. I just don't have time. I've been working so much. Um, negativity from people, you know, I don't even care anymore. You can call me Bucktooth. I don't care. I, I used to be really insecure about my Bucktooth, but then I really don't care anymore. Like, I love it. I embrace it. I encourage other people to embrace it. You know, I don't care if you go tell me to die because I'm happy where I'm at and I'm sorry that you're not happy where you're at no matter how hard you try. So please excuse the break that I've had from filming, but hopefully you guys like this monthly favorite video and hopefully I will have more upcoming videos for you guys soon. And um, let me show you one last peek of my makeup today. And if you guys really liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And um, if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and feel free to link it, not link, comment it down below. And be sure to follow me on Tumblr. Um, I deleted the Twitter app off my phone because it would just take up too much room. But feel free to follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, Snapchat, and did I say Instagram? I don't think I said Instagram. Yep, and I will link all the links down below or say it somewhere in my video. And I hope you guys will keep on continuing to subscribe to my channel, liking my videos, and keep on encouraging me. And I will hope that I will, <laughs> I hope that I will encourage some of you guys as well. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!